Both teams have made it this far in the Champions League, but there is one more significant hurdle to clear, and that is the semi-final hurdle. Who's going to make it? It's Borussia Dortmund. They face Paris Saint-Germain, and it's coming up live here on EA TV. Well, this is a region that really loves its football, the industrial west of Germany. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And now things get really exciting on the UEFA Champions League front. We're at the semi-final stage, and what we have coming up is the first leg. It is Borussia Dortmund against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, it could be cagey and it could be tight, but we've got some of the best players on view here, and they'll want to show just how good they really are. I can't wait for this tie to start. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Emre Can starts alongside Marcel Zabitzer in central midfield, and Niklas Füllkrug is up front. And we need to get tighter here. Zabitzer, now with Sancho, using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Lucas Hernandez plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. Hold on, Derek. Chance here. And foiled only by the crossbar. He read it well, but still work to do. Borussia Dortmund have given it away. And teammates around him. Wonderful chance. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. Well, you get the feeling so many in attendance here have come just to see this man, Kylian Mbappe. Well, he's their leading goal scorer because his space awareness in tight areas is so good. He just has that knack of knowing where the ball will drop, and I'm not sure you can teach that. Phil Krug read that pass all the way, cutting it out. Tempele. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. <laughs> Nuno Menj. Interception to snuff out the danger. Pereira, Mbappe, just can't get it past him. Rioson, and given away by Dortmund. Well, they've given him too much space. Can he compose himself? Will be a Paris Saint Germain free kick. <laughs> Tempele. It's still alive. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Daniel Malen. Well, they have it again. Feeding it through. Still could put it away. Chance to put them in front. Crucial piece of defending. Brandt. Krug, a very good tackle. 
Now PSG moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? A disappointing end to the move. A chopping challenge. And the referee has got to have a big think about it. And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Vitor Ferreira. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Mbappe. And that brings the attack to an end. Brilliant team pressing. Chances on. Can't miss, surely. Brilliantly blocked. short corner Dembele well they stopped them in their tracks Brandt now who can he play it to a really good pass What can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? This looks more than decent. Couldn't grab hold of it. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Well, PSG have it back now. Ugarte. Dembele and Dembele couldn't keep the ball there will be one minute added on at the end Marcel Zabitza Brandt with it that's going to be all for the first half here in the Ruhr region They've kicked off the second half here in Dortmund. Emre Can and Borussia Dortmund in a position of menace. But they took care of it. Well, if you're going to challenge like that, it has to be spot on. What did the referee think of it? And he's been dismissed. 
This will be a real test of their defensive resilience. Well, he had to go, didn't he? They'll need to reshape their defence quickly here. Substitution it is for PSG. You might say the wall did its job. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Tempele. Hakimi. And defensive play to be applauded. Julian Riosson. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Manuel Ugarte. Now with Hakimi. Now the pass not finding its target. Emre Can. Schlotterbeck. Brandt. Shielding the ball superbly. Emre Can. What a bad pass it was. Manuel Ugarte. Nuno Mensch. Ugarte. And that's an important intervention. Mbappe. Dembele on the ball. Fine work from Paris Saint-Germain to win the ball back. Hakimi. Dembele on the ball. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. advantage is with PSG well the fact of the matter is sometimes there is no advantage and that was the view of the referee well the referee might have been tempted to reach for his pocket but wasn't well it's a foul but not a bad one a warning is just about the right decision in the way top class defending well these Dortmund fans can sense a victory here but the winner has to come soon not much time left now could be troublesome well, PSG doing well to regain control of the ball. Vitor Ferreira. Showing real patience. Can they forge ahead? Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Able to deal with the threat. And a confident clearance. Well, 
this is going to be a frantic finish and the Dortmund fans are certainly playing their part. There's probably one more big chance coming their way. Can they take it though? Nuno Mensch. Hernandez. And with Donnarumma. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Progressive football from Paris Saint-Germain. They know a goal at this late stage might be decisive. Firing it in. Still could be dangerous. Did well to clear it away. Well, pressing really high. And just five minutes remaining. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And that really could have been the big moment. Well, it's a really poor attempt at such a crucial time as well. He has to score there. Mbappe. Mbappe. Dembele on the ball. Could cross it in here. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. And Dortmund committed to getting forward. Can they grab a late winner? And up for grabs off the keeper. And cleared away. And there's the final whistle. A thoroughly entertaining semi-final first leg. And I must say, Stuart, it bodes well for the return match. Yeah, fantastic first 90 minutes, wasn't it? Exactly what you want to see at this stage in the competition. Let's just hope they can replicate that in the reverse fixture.